Hi guys and welcome to a walkthrough of a two bed second floor apartment here on La Torre Golf Resort. This is a really nice one. So I wanted to get, I'm getting on a flight in a few hours, but I really wanted to get this on before I leave. Okay, so the actual entrance itself is in one of the atrium ones, okay, which is kind of open at the top, as you can see. So that's basically the clue to, to where you're going is when you see the, the open atriums like that, is you're getting the ones with the big kind of wraparound terraces or, or there is another style in these types of buildings as well, but, but still a nice big terrace. So that's what you're always gonna expect with that. Um, so let's have a walk through and see what you think. This is a really, really nice one. I've got to say, guys, um, this has literally just come on today. Um, it won't stay long. Um, it's at a really good price as well. So I can see this going. This is going to be one of them ones that go within a, within a day or two. So on entrance, you walk into this kind of hallway area here. Let me just shut the door behind you. Behind me, rather. And you, if you're watching it. So into the hallway here, um, you've got the kitchen to the left. And then, of course, this just goes off to the bedrooms here to the right and the lounge around to the left. So let's have a look in the kitchen first, because that's what we're at first. Now, I know sometimes these LED lights make the video flicker a little bit. So just be wary of that. If I go down a little bit further, it stops, I think. So as you can see, you've got the, the kind of stainless steel fridge freezer here. Oven, hob, high senses, these have all been changed. So these have all been upgraded since the original ones. It is the original fan, but the actual hob and the oven is all, is all updated. Um, you've got a Whirlpool kind of dishwasher down here as well. Um, looking around to the left, so obviously this wouldn't have had cupboards to start with, but they've added this kind of freestanding uh, kind of island, if you like, or worktop. And you've got, obviously, you've got your microwave and bits and pieces on this. Um, nice, really nice, feels really nice and spotlessly clean. It's in really good condition throughout this apartment. Um, this one has the separate utility. So you just open this door, you go out to an, opens, uh, an open utility. So again, you've got a washing machine here and gas combi boiler here. Um, now what people, a lot of people have done with these style apartments um, is they've taken out where you've got the door here, they've taken all of that out and basically they extended the kitchen right back to here. You know, just put a nice big window in here. Um, so I've seen that done quite a lot, a lot of times. Um, and it's an option, it just means that you can lengthen your kitchen if you want to. Um, or a lot of people, of course, do prefer to have the utility completely separate. But I would kind of recommend putting a window in here or something just to keep all the dust and rain and stuff because that looks like a really nice kind of new washing machine as well. Um, as far as I know, everything is staying here, okay? Just double check that with the office. Like I said, I've kind of raced here quickly because I wanted to get it on before I jump a flight. Um, just shoot, have to shoot away for the weekend. So just double check with the office that that is correct. But this kitchen is lovely. Um, you know, really nice appliances. Um, and yeah, just looks good, nice and clean. Right, back out of the kitchen into the small hallway area where we came in. So that's your front door there. Walking down, so the kitchen is round, uh, the lounge, sorry, is round to the left. I think it's decorated really nice. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't change this. If, if I was buying this as a holiday place, I would leave it exactly the way it is. It looks really smart. Um, and then just over here is like your little hallway leading off to all the bedrooms. So that's bedroom, bedroom, bathroom directly ahead. So let's start at the bedroom here on the right. Again, like it, um, you know, really, really nice and clean. Uh, feels modern. I think it's been done in good taste throughout. So you, this is set up here with two singles. Let me just see if they're standard singles. Yep, they're standard singles and not storage or anything like that, but good size singles, you know what I mean? And this is a good size room. If anyone knows this style of apartment, this is the one where you kind of have all this extra space back here. Um, and I've actually seen this where the, the radiator has been moved away and you've actually, they've actually flattened this out. So from here, it kind of goes flat. So more like a, the, the, the size of a normal double room that you get on here. Um, and then they whack that through to the bar from that side and split it in two. So you have two bathrooms. It's one of the styles that can have two bathrooms quite easily. Built in wardrobe as always. This is one of the kind of funky kind of techie fans with the remote controls which like I've said before, a lot of people don't like AC. Um, there's no AC in this room. Obviously the pre-installation is here, um, but there's no actual AC put in. So the AC pre-installation will be just above the door there. Um, but these guys have obviously opted for, for big fans. Um, so that's obviously been enough for them. Now with this style, bedroom two will always look out to the atrium. So you don't really get any view as such off this bedroom. Um, but that's with all of the styles that look into the atriums. But what you're getting is big terraces and a nice, I think nice shaped apartments inside. So let's head out back to the little hallway area. Turn right into the bathroom. 
Okay, so you can see they have done stuff here. Um, now, this is the original um, cabinet sink and tap, but in pretty good condition. Everything here, everything in this apartment is in really good condition. Um, the bath has been changed, so it's a full size bath. You know, most people do opt for taking the bath out and putting a, a walk in shower, but these guys have actually changed the bath. You can see it's kind of a square much more modern kind of bath here. Um, and then they've actually put all new tiles into the side of the bath. And as you can see, all of that area as well. It looks nice, actually. Um, you know, I'm so used to people just putting shower trays in. You never really see people change baths. They have in this case, and it looks good. But again, like I said, can't stress enough, the actual whole property here is in really good condition. Out of the bathroom into what would be regarded as the master. Again, loving it. Really like these chairs, kind of velvet chairs. And that's a that's a nice bed, a nice size bed. So that's a, obviously you can see it's a double. I don't know if that actually is a king. I think it's more like a king than a double. Um, then this obviously gives direct access out onto the terrace, which is one of the real killer points of this apartment, which you'll see shortly. Inbuilt wardrobes here. Again, you've got the same kind of funky kind of remote control fan, and these are big fans. So that's gonna that's gonna you know that's gonna push out a lot of air when that's on. Inbuilt wardrobes as always, and again, the pre-installation will be in, but obviously no AC unit in here. They've opted, like I said, for these big fans. The good thing with this layout is obviously you've got direct access out onto the terrace here. And then if you open a window at the other side, like the other room, for example, that we've just been in, you'll just get a, a flow of air going through the apartment, which a lot of people opt for, rather than the AC. Um, now I can use AC, but my daughter never could. It always went through her throat, so we very rarely used it, and I don't really use it now only when it's really necessary. Right, out of the master. Now I can of course go straight out into the terrace, but we've not went through the lounge yet, so let's do that. And again, really like it. Very modern. I like the cabinets. I think the couches are lovely. I love these little velvet chairs. Dining table, just plain white. Excellent, goes really nicely with it. This is a new unit, so they have put the, the reverse OAC unit in here. Um, so they've opted for that. So that's not the original, that would be, that would be pretty new. But yeah, just, you know, just in very, very nice condition, presented really nice. Lots of windows here as well. Now this is really the big point, this is where it gets really good. So this is one of the wraparound styles, okay? So let's walk out onto the terrace. So this obviously, this is, gives you direct access from bedroom to, from the master bedroom, what would be regarded as the master bedroom. Let's just go over to this corner. And this is a big terrace. And look at the views as well. This is really nice. So I'm gonna walk and do the views as I go. Look at that. Beautiful. You've got one pool area just here and you've also got another pool area just around that corner as well. So you've got two pools, um, literally either side. Massive terrace. So you've got the terrace, you've got the views and this will be fantastic for winter orientation. If I'm looking this way, that is directly south pretty much on my compass. So that's south, okay? Which will make this east, is that right? Yeah, north, east, south. So you're gonna get, um, well, let's, let's talk about the different season here. This is a second floor. Obviously you can see it's a covered terrace. So the sun rises over here and basically heads this way. Um, what that means is now um, we're in May. So the sun is obviously a lot higher in the sky. So you're never gonna get well, you're never going to get sun coming onto any terrace now other than penthouses or, of course, if you've got a big garden. However, that's not a bad thing, like I've said in, on so many occasions. Today, even though it's only May, today is still 25 degrees. Um, so that being directly on you can't be a good thing always. This, I mean, this is a lovely temperature in here. Um, however, in winter, when the temperature drops a lot and then the sun also drops a lot, you're going to get the sun pouring through this terrace. So for me, win-win. So you're getting it in winter when you want it and in summer you're getting protected from it and this is lovely views I can't stress enough how much that how lovely the views are over here um, and like I said um, in fact you can actually see the entrance to the main entrance to the resort is just over here so 
a tower there is the entrance so what does that mean that means you're within a few minute walks of the clubhouse and the town center um so you can literally walk over to the hotel in in one minute is this is almost directly opposite the hotel um so if anyone knows the resort you'll know how close you are to everything so this is very very close to the town center so literally you know just staggering distance to any of the bars and restaurants this is a lovely one. Now, again, it gets even better. The price on this one is 97,000 euros, 96,995. The guys that own this want a quick sale. We would have put it up higher than that, probably quite a bit higher than that, but they want a quick sale. So they've, they've put it on for 97,000. So this is a real opportunity for someone to grab a lovely apartment at a great price. Community fees on this one, 165 a month, 165 euros per month. Again, don't forget that includes unlimited fiber optic broadband at 50 megabit speed. You can pay to go up to 900 if you really needed it, but 50 is generally more than enough for anyone. Um, and it also includes international TV stations and it includes an internal phone line. Okay, so think about that package off resort, you're looking at at least 60 euros. And of course, the rest of the money is going towards 24 hour security, gardening, pools, regular cleans of the stairways, the lifts, you know, so I think you're getting quite a lot for your money. Lovely apartment, guys. Um, again, as always, like I said, um, if you're watching from the UK, we can always be reached on 0208090-3631. If you're here in Spain, the best number to call is a mobile, plus 34-638-134-215. Any questions, let us know. Do not sit on this. If you're looking for something like this, get in touch as soon as possible.